and welcome back to this free training series on Rocket. Rocket is our process where we use AI generated content to rank as high as possible in Google. It's a step by step process which we take you through. In this free training, we want to give you a little bit of help, a little bit of guidance on how to rank in Google, get as high up as possible in those SERPs, ideally up to position one. We want to help the community out and that's why we've created this free training series. This particular piece of training step, uh, stems from O in our process of Rocket. Uh, looking for opportunities. Now, we do have a link to our full course if you want to get onto the waitlist for that. All you need to do is scroll down under this video to the description. But as I said, the information in this training series is completely for free. We want to help you out, we want to help the community out as much as possible. So in this video, we're going to look at content gap analysis. Before you do content gap analysis, there's a few things you need to make sure you've done beforehand. So you can still watch the rest of this video, but you will need to do some extra stages beforehand. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have done extensive keyword research. And if you don't know anything about keyword research, if you're a beginner to all of this, then go back and check out part one and part two of our series on rocket focusing on the first letter which is R standing for research there should be a little card popping up around this video now that you can click on or I'll put a link to that playlist in the description the other thing you need to do once you're happy with keyword research you understand the metrics you understand all the terminology is you need to do an audit of the keywords that you've covered on your site and those of your competitors and these are the two main parts of content gap analysis what you need to do before and then what you're going to do at the very start of the process and i'm going to talk you through that in a little bit more detail okay now i'm not going to be able to cover everything on content gap analysis for example i'm not going to be able to talk to you in this video about the tools that we use as i said if you want to check out the full course get on the wait list for that then there's the link in the description but hopefully this will give you a nice overview if you're brand new to this idea of content gap analysis then this is the right video for you you're going to find that you're going to really improve your knowledge and understanding and by the end of the video you will be able to take action there are steps that you can take from this free training in order to be able to start content gap analysis but if you want that additional help additional in-depth support then get yourself on the wait list for that uh, the full paid so what is content gap analysis well the goal of this is to analyze your website and its content and find gaps that you can fill in order to make your website more competitive in your niche and be able to climb up SERPs by using the right keywords okay so content gap analysis is as simple as it sounds you're analyzing your website analyzing your competitors as well and looking for where there are gaps in your content that you can go away and fill with content with new content okay it's also called keyword gap analysis so different places call it different things we're going to be focusing on keywords and talking about keywords in this video because it links to our previous training but that's something else you might another terminology you might seem um, but it normally means the same thing when people use it content gap analysis and keyword gap analysis being the same so why do it well there's several reasons why this is worth your time after you've done your keyword research it's going to improve your content marketing strategy. So if you know where the gaps are in your content, then you can improve your content marketing strategy. You can go to your content calendar for the next two to six months and you can make sure you're filling in those gaps. It makes your site more competitive. That's the second thing, because if you are putting out the right content and you are using the right keywords, then you're going to compete better with everyone else in your niche. And hopefully, as I said, the number three is going to increase your chance of ranking for valuable keywords and moving up in SERPs as well. It's also going to improve your ROI because if you're analyzing where you're doing well and where you need to improve, then that ROI or for those beginners out there, that return on investment means the time you're putting into creating content is going in the right place. OK, now when you're new to this, if you haven't got any site at all, then you might need to tweak the strategy. But if you've got a website already or you've got content you're already putting out, then this is definitely something that's worth your time. And the overall goal of all of these steps is obviously for you to make more money. Because if you've got better content going out, if your site is more competitive, if you're ranking for keywords that are 
more valuable and your return on investment is higher then you're going to make more money it doesn't matter if you're a brand if you're an e-com store it doesn't matter if you're a blog that relies on ads it doesn't matter if you're a local business that's trying to bring in leads these all help you improve your site which ultimately we want to ensure means you're making more money so what is cap content gap analysis what's the process well the first thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze the current keywords on your website okay go through them all what keywords are you doing really well for which ones are you not now if you're a new site or you haven't even started doing this then you might want to think about which ones are going to be easier or harder for you to start creating content on then what you want to do is analyze the current keywords on your competitors websites and we're looking for any gaps in their content so is there a keyword that you consider quite valuable or an opportunity in your niche that they're not at currently targeting because there's an opportunity there for you to be able to jump into that little uh, gap and fill it with your own content so again if you haven't started yet with creating a website or you're at the very beginning stages analyze what your competitors doing look for gaps in their content and fill it could be a way for you to quickly get ahead the other thing about your competitors is there might be keywords or long tail keywords that you are both going for or you both want uh, you want to go for as well as your competitor but they're not doing brilliantly at it so you think that okay they are currently targeting a particular keyword but I know I can do better quite quickly so analyze what you're doing analyze what your competitors doing identify missing keywords or those not covered well enough that's what we've just discussed and then you want to make a list of these keywords to target in order to improve your rankings because if you go away and do keyword research you might come up with hundreds of keywords that you could potentially rank for but you need to know where to start and that's what content gap analysis is all about it's helping you figure out okay I've got a list of maybe 100 200 long tail keywords I want to go after where do I actually start find what's easiest to rank for find what your competitors not doing well or you can out compete them with and then turn that into a separate list now I've got a free resource for you at the end of this presentation that you can access that's going to help you do this okay if you haven't checked out as I said part one and two of rocket there was a free resource in that so definitely go back and check those uh, videos get your hands on that resource to help you with keywords this resource here is going to help you with your content gap analysis and I'll give it to you at the end so how do you do content gap analysis so now we understand what the process is and why we should be bothering with it how are you going to do it well the first thing you can do is you can do it manually and this is great if you've got more time than money so you're going to go on your website go on your competitors website obviously and then you're going to cross check keywords and you're going to put that into a keyword research document so maybe a spreadsheet maybe a word document and you're just going to create lists figure out for different parts of your website home page product pages about page whatever pages you want to rank look at your competitors pages and work out which keywords they're doing better on you're doing better on and find those opportunities okay again if you're new and you haven't got any of this set up then look at your competitors find where the gaps are in their content and then that will help you figure out okay where are the opportunities where I could rank quickly because I can outcompete my competitor even if they're not using a particular keyword at all or they are but they're not using it very well so I think I could quickly rank higher if you've got more money than time then it doesn't mean a huge amount of money but if you're ready to invest in a tool then you've got the automatic process which is where you're using AI technology and you're using these pieces of software that are able to analyze your website analyze your competitors and do the work for you now I don't have time in this particular presentation to go through those tools as I said if you want to learn more about this process get yourself on the waitlist for our full course if you're interested otherwise you can just go away and do your own research but they're your two options depending if you've got more time than money or more money than Here's a really important point for you. Remember, you don't have to start from scratch. If you've got a website that's already set up and you've got some content on it, just before, because you find a keyword or a long tail keyword in your content gap analysis, that does not mean that you need to start writing a brand new article. So first of all, before you decide to you know, open up a brand new article and start writing, check 
if uh, you can find any thing that you can improve already on your website so for example you might be able to find an article that's actually outdated and you could update that and at the same time fill that content gap so you might have a, a 2021 review of something that you could update to a 2022 review or maybe you've reviewed something like a technology software or product and there's been some changes to it and you can update that or maybe there's a service you offer if you're a local business and actually in the last year 18 months things have changed and you've added some things onto that particular service and you can put that in as well as filling in this content gap now don't shoehorn it in don't force it in but look for that opportunity before you start fresh you might also find a piece of content that's lacking examples or details so for example you might have an article or a description about a product or service and you could go through and give examples of how something works or how something can be used or as we just mentioned before give some more details and that will allow you to use uh, that keyword so for example if you find that there's a branded keyword so there's a particular product name you could go into a piece of content that's lacking details and use that product name as an example and you could rank for the original keyword of the document and potentially that product name that you identified as a content gap you might also have a blog post that's too technical or hard to understand. So you might find you've got a, a, a blog or an article that has a really high bounce rate. So people are going on and then quickly leaving. And that's just because the language is too high a level. Maybe it's just too technical for people or maybe it's too hard to understand. You may need to reduce sort of the reading age of the um, the blog or article or maybe we just need to do some formatting to it break it down into smaller chunks so it's more readable so as I said go through those steps before you start something new you might decide actually this need, just needs a brand new article or blog post which is absolutely fine but just review that first and as a bonus tip I want you to remember to audit everything don't just focus on web pages and blog articles which is what most people do remember if it can rank you should audit it okay so things like social media posts recent Google updates have mean that Facebook it, uh, posts TikToks, these can rank so audit those downloadables that you have on your websites landing pages so you're not necessarily part of your main homepage or about, but you're using landing pages, they can rank. Maybe there's eBooks that you produced, they can rank as well. And any trainings you have, courses, videos, PDFs, anything like that, all of it has the potential to rank, or if it has the potential to rank, then it should be audited to see if there's an opportunity there to fill a content gap with that particular piece of content so don't just think about a blog or a home page or an about think about everything that you're producing and where you can use different pieces of content to fill that content gap so thank you very much for listening as I said I did want to give you a free resource and if you scroll down into the description at the end, uh, end of this video uh, you'll be able to see that there is a free spreadsheet there all you've got to do is click on the link and it will open up and it's just a document that you can use to organize your content gap analysis it's very very simple so if you're one of those people that has more time than money this would be a great resource for you to open up and start using yourself uh, in order to be able to do that content gap analysis if you're looking for a tool you can go online and you can search for one if you have any questions about what we've done in this training or if there's any particular topics you want us to cover then put them down in the comments below this video uh, we read all our comments we'll get back to you and if we like um, your ideas and lots of people are saying similar things then we will go ahead and see if we can create some training for you on that up on the screen now you'll be able to see the playlist for our rocket training so you can go back and watch any of the videos that you have missed for now Please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video if you found it useful and we'll see you in the next training.